Hi everyone. Welcome to the series on integrating even powers of sines and cosines. I'll illustrate the method using these three examples. The method is to reduce the even powers as much as we can. How do we accomplish that? By applying the half angle identities. Notice that immediately reduces the power by half. The process is reiterated until we can integrate each term. The sine double angle identity provides a nice shortcut in complicated cases. You'll see what I mean later. In this lesson, we will focus on the strategy only. Here's the first integrand. It can be expressed in terms of cosine 4x, right? Yes, because it is 1 minus cosine 4x over 2. Those two terms we can integrate. Easy enough. How about the integrand in example 2? Let's stare at that for a minute. Does the product look familiar? Can you relate that to sine 6x? Sure, sine 6x is 2 sine 3x times cosine 3x. That means the combined fourth power reduces to a second power. The problem is now similar to example one. Here's the integrand in example three. Okay, we see all even powers. The first question we should ask ourselves is, can we apply the sine double angle formula? Well, in this case, it is not as obvious, but the answer is yes. Why? Because the cosine fourth can be split into a cosine squared times a cosine squared. Once we do that, the sine double angle ID can be applied. The leftover cosine squared x can be expressed in terms of cosine 2x. The resulting math is still sort of messy, but this is definitely the quickest way to solve this problem. We'll go through each of the above examples in the next lessons. See you then. Thank you.